what what's going on i'm so tired from daylight savings and i just have low energy which is not normal for me and i'm very frustrated because i don't like having low energy but i think like staying hydrated and eating lots of snacks will help me. so i think i'm gonna have a carrot i feel like is this for a dinner though i don't know I don't think it is. This is one of my favorite snacks to have. Just a large, I think they call these a horse carrot. And I'm just gonna grab the peeler. Peel this. It's also a very healthy snack. Definitely healthier than a lot of other things I could grab. The sweater that I'm wearing, it's a little zebra moment. Has an open back, but I can't really show you. It's from Nasty Gal. I just got some cute things from them. And I'm gonna do a little mini haul and show you guys. And thank you to Nasty Gal for partnering up on this portion of today's video. So let's go put together some cute fall, winter Nasty Gal outfit. And of course, I will link the items in the description box for you guys. So you can drop them there. All right, so. I'm going to start with this outfit that I already had on the top for. I've actually been wearing this sweater just with jeans, like high-waisted jeans tucked in. But I wanted to show you guys something a little more dressed up of it. So this is just a open back little tie, kind of, I guess it's like a mock neck more than a turtleneck maybe. This actually comes in so many different colors i believe so i picked it up in the zebra print because animal print is just super fun um and it looks really good with like a plain pair of pants or a little skirt or something but they have a bunch of neutral um more just like basic colors that are also good to have and then i just paired it with this little side slit skirt because i feel like that's just a fun addition this is actually from princess polly and then these kind of like wide these kind of like wide rain boot inspired boots. I've been wearing these nonstop this season already. So I just threw these on with this because they look so good with a skirt or a dress. Yeah, so I'm going to try on um, a couple more pieces for you guys that I picked up from them. I also wanted to show, I got a zebra purse too. I wouldn't wear it with this because it's too much, but I'll show you it because it's really cute. All right, so this is the little purse I got. So it's kind of like a little horseshoe shape, which is a fun, retro, cutesy little shape for a bag. And like I said, it's obviously too much with this. I mean, you could do it if you wanted. For me, I feel it's too much, but this would be the perfect little accessories to go with this top in the plain colors without a pattern. I think it would just be the cutest little pop. So love this. Super cute. And in this household, we embrace zebra print and all kinds of animal print so she was just a lovely little addition i also feel like this has some like fendi aspects to it so it looks nice and expensive and it feels like good quality actually so i love this little thing okay this outfit is super fun i know you guys are gonna love these pants um, everything sells out really fast on nasty go so i hope none of these things are sold out by the time this goes live but these pants are so good i know we are all fans of two-tone denim you guys always love those when i post them on instagram and everything so i had to snag this pair try to Right, so I made it a little lower so you guys can see. But I had to snag this pair because they were so fun. They are two-tone gray and black denim. And I believe they're called like the star and stripe denim or something. Obviously, they have stars and stripes. They're very fun and funky. And I feel like they're perfect for street style. I just paired them here with a pair of sneakers, my go-to Air Force Ones. And the top, this is a sweatshirt that I also have from Nasty Gal. I got this months ago, or actually maybe last year, so I don't know if they still have it, but I will check for you guys. And it's a little American flag, Inglewood, California sweater. And then I just tucked it to kind of show the waist of the pants a little bit more. This is what the back looks like. And then the sweater, I'll show you guys it full length too. Just kind of like a nice oversized crew neck. 
and just a cute casual comfy outfit um, both of these pieces are very versatile i wear this in the summer with like biker shorts or just little sweat shorts and i think these are going to be really cute with a faux leather jacket or a faux leather blazer maybe a turtleneck a graphic tee so many different things so happy with these i got them in a size two and they're not super tight they're like a little bit roomy and baggy throughout but they're very comfortable and i'm okay with my stuff being a little on the baggy side for this outfit i picked out this teddy coat it's kind of like an aviator style inspired teddy coat and it's this nice like rich kind of almost like caramely brown color which i think is just so perfect for fall it looks so good with all of the leaves changing and everything which like i don't have too much of that here but there is a few um like pretty spots with the trees and i just feel like wearing colors like this just goes perfectly with that and it makes me so happy it's kind of a weird good thing to even think about probably for most people but i do think about that so i loved this little number i think the details on it are so good so i really liked all these little faux leather straps and i think it just makes it really fun and it makes it look more expensive too and it's just nice and cozy i it has pockets right yeah okay it has pockets with zippers which is really nice you could like zip your phone up in there if you're like going on a bike ride or something and then it won't fall out and i got this in a size small medium so I tend to get my coats actually oversized since this one came in that type of sizing where it's like small, medium, medium, large. I just went with the small, medium because small is my normal size. So it would be a little oversized anyways. And I would say it fits perfect. And then I have these boots on that are really cute as well. It's hard to show you guys. So I'm going to bring the camera into the mirror right now actually and show you there because they are so cute and they need their own moment. What is going on with this little hair all right so here is the outfit i by the way just paired these with faux leather leggings this is the commando pair they're like my go-to favorite pair of faux leather leggings and then these are the boots that i spoke of sorry there's a boot on the floor right there so these are the boots that i was talking about they are a nice chunky little like platform combat boot and i'm obsessed with them they're so cute and I got these in a size 8 because Nasty Gal doesn't do half sizes and for boots when they don't come in a half size I'll usually go up a size because I'm often wearing like thick socks with them. So they actually aren't too huge. They are a little bit roomy but I'm glad that I went with the 8 instead of the 7 because I'm normally a 7.5. And then I have a couple more outfits to show you guys. This is a lot more dressy than the other outfits, but I wanted to pick up a little holiday dress option. This is super fun. Tag is swollen and hanging out back there. But I was really drawn to this dress because I love something that's a little bit on the edgy side, especially for dressing up. So this was perfect to suit that because it's a nice black, sleek little mini dress, and then it has the cutouts which are so fun. It just has the one cut out and then the one sleeve. I think that's super cute and fun. It also has this little cinching detail so you can make it longer or shorter depending on your preference and your height and everything. So I really like this. I think it's a nice, sleek, sexy, edgy, sultry dress. And then I paired it with some over the knee boots that have like a little, a little, what is that called? Peep toe? I think it's not called that. I don't know what it's called. I can't think of it, but it's an open-toed shoe. Maybe it's a peep toe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's how I styled it. So I think this is fun for holiday. Like I've said in videos before, I may be just by myself or with Clayton on the holidays, but I would still mess up and feel cute. All right, this is the last little outfit that I wanted to share, and I love this one. I'm such a fan of blazers. I wear them all year round, and I actually don't have a really good, like, light brown 
blazer this one i have been eyeing i'm not kidding for i think years or months on nasty gal maybe they like slightly changed it or something but i've had my eye on this one for so long i don't know why i never pulled the trigger but i'm so happy i finally have it because i think that this is a really good color to have it feels a little more casual and dressed down than like a black blazer or um like a hound's tooth or anything like that so it's kind of like a almost like tweed looking it's not like a tweed feeling but the actual pattern is kind of like that i don't know like marled look and it's just a really nice like taupey lighter grayish brown color which i think is just perfect for being super casual and so for this look i just actually paired it with a little ribbed cropped white tee and then this pair of denim and it's just a perfect like boyfriend outfit i guess so i think this blazer is actually called the boyfriend blazer on nasty gal so it kind of just has that oversized like masculine feel to it which i love and i just feel so comfortable and like confident and true to my style in this outfit so i love it with just like a pulled back sleek bun some earrings a little handbag i just have my air force one zone with it so little sneakers and blazers and it's just perfect i got it in a size medium because i do like my blazers quite oversized i knew it was a boyfriend fit so it would already be oversized but i like to wear them with like dresses or shorts or something like that and kind of have the blazer itself be like a dress so i sized up one and it fits perfect and it would go good with turtlenecks crop tops graphic tees dresses skirts shorts everything pretty much i'm a huge blazer advocate so good find and that is it for this haul so hopefully everything hasn't sold out yet i'll link it all for you guys below all right guys we've decided that my hair is fried still got a few tattoos but the hair is fried right yeah can i get a towel miss oh here we go okay. oh. Gotta be honest, I don't trust Delaney that much with the scissors because she did the back once and it looks like trash. Gonna be honest. If you don't even know, I need a spray bottle. I don't have a spray bottle. You told me to just do it like random. Yeah, I did kind of tell you to do that. And so I listened. She listened well. It's so messed up. Perfect this hair. Ow. The ends are absolutely <laughs> It has beautiful natural curls. I used to have curls. You inherited hair. from Mama Sue. Mama gave me curls. Look what we've done to your child's hair. Mom probably hates us right now. Yeah. I'm wearing the magic hat, so this is good vibes. You yeah, guys don't know that's the magic hat. Yeah, so this is the beanie that Clayton and I have been wearing. We switch off between wearing it like we do with most things. And what we're wearing is wearing the magic hat because it makes us feel like a little. Oh. All right, so this is a good start. We have completely dead straight hair. <laughs> that looks like absolute trash. Bring this back to life. Bring it back, bring it back like it never left. Yep, just go for it. And we'll vacuum later. Bring it up here. Yeah, you're supposed to switch to your fingers. Huh? You switch to your fingers and you cut by the fingers. No, no, no. So you're supposed to like, you go. Oh, yeah. So where do you put so the scissors? So you comb. Yep. And then I think you have to do a switch. I think I should just do like a rough cut first anyway. Okay. Here we go, rough cut. Give this and tail Oh, yep, just go for it. Getting the dead ends off. Looks like uh, the inside of an artichoke. <laughs> it does. Oh, well, it we're going for it. <laughs> looks healthier already. One should have been my vibe. hard part it looks good okay so like i just go like d -d 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 mm -hmm. nice job what do you think looks good nailed it <laughs> looks all right we saved it okay i think we saved it i think it looks better than i did before yeah what do you think yeah, it was out of control. We'll see how this goes for a little bit. It looks nice to me. I still think it might be nice to shave it. Yeah. Just to give it like a 
That looks handsome though, I like that. Full break. Like, let's just go back to nothing here for a minute. Yeah, but we just got a lot off. It looks and it, it like feels a lot better too already. Yeah. Once I shower a couple of times and if it grows out, like yeah. give it like a couple of weeks. I would highly recommend not tugging on it at all. Okay, so not doing what I'm doing. Yeah. All right. Thank you, babe. Later. Barbara D. Good morning. Vlog fam. We are about to do a workout with, okay, I'm about to go down the stairs and I'm wearing socks and I need to really focus when I'm going down the stairs, especially in socks because I have fallen down the stairs, like literally fall, no joke, multiple times. So let me just focus for, whoo, made it. But we're about to start a workout. We work out with a trainer three times a week, just over Zoom. Oh, well, it's really bright. Zoom vibes. Zoom vibes. A little Zoom meeting with Robbie. We'll put his handle somewhere for you guys to check him out because he is the freaking best. He is a really good trainer and he's also just the best vibes. Like, happy, cutie, love him. And he's, uh, he's a big TikToker. You guys have literally probably seen Robbie on TikTok on your For You page. He's a TikTok sensation with his good vibes. So yeah, just getting ready to go get our butts kicked by him. Really nice to work out with him because he pushes us really hard and we end up doing things that we definitely wouldn't make ourselves do, I should say. I haven't worn these workout shoes in a little while. Why was that so difficult? <laughs> Here is my workout outfit. This set is from Be Try It, which if you guys have never checked out Be Try It, they have literally the cutest workout clothes, really good designs, and they fit super well. I wear a size small in the tops and bottoms, I believe. And then I forget what these Nikes are called, but gonna wear those today. And I got on this little self-love club hat, and we're ready to go. So yeah. Let's go work out. All right, so we work out in our garage for anyone who doesn't know. So here's where we set up our little- Robbie gets a nice little- Zoom station. God, our seat. garage looks really freaking dirty. Waiting for Robbie. Here's our little station. Clayton actually just bought some mirrors. We're gonna put them there. This is our new bed. Yes, we're changing out our bed today. Changing out the bed today. This is our new old bed. Our new old bed. Old new bed. That is the bed frame that we used to have. That's why we're calling it that. Ew, what the heck is that? Dead spider. Ew! Natural causes? Natural causes in the middle. Hmm. He was walking across the big desert. And he was old. Found himself parched. He was old. Out of water. Laundry station is just so cute. Gotta do some laundry. Clayton does the laundry, for anyone wondering. He does all the water sports. I do all the water activities. Dishes, water laundry, water. and mopping. I do vacuuming, sweeping, dusting, putting things away. Cooking, you do the cleaning after the cooking. You do literally all the water sports. I do all the water sports. I do all the land sports. And by sports, we mean chores. All right. Ah! Come on. No. No, 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 no. Oh, there we go. There we are. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh my god, I have like a huge bright. It just got really bright all of a sudden. <laughs> Wait, it's lagging so it's bad. It's lagging so bad. Can you hear us? You got a haircut. I got a haircut. Yeah, we cut his hair. I'm lagging. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a robot. <laughs> 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 But don't worry, you know how to work things. <laughs> this angel is gonna kick our butts now, right? Yes. I'm gonna kick everyone's butt. We're gonna have fun and die a little bit. <laughs> how, you, how is your day going so far? Good, how's yours? Good. You know, got my morning coffee, went for a little walk. Nice. And now here. Okay. You know, the stays above the knee, really wide to walk. Lower. Lower. No. I can't go lower yes, with the black one. No, not with the black one. The black one's so hard. <laughs> Three. 
Did you get the black one? You put the black one on me. Today. I gave. I was just telling her. I was just telling her. I, I gave Hunter the black one in Wyoming and didn't tell him it was way harder than the other. <laughs> he was struggling a little bit with that one. Also, I don't know why at this angle, but you look way taller. <laughs> I have like a. I, don't know. I have a one inch, one inch mat underneath me. Yeah. I don't know. Something else. I do look giant. Look at. <laughs> Yay! Okay, you guys tomorrow. I have 9.30 available. Let's do it. Yeah. Over. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Robbie. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Have a good day. No, no, not the front. It smells yeah. terrible. Don't, don't put it on me. I even brushed my teeth before this workout. Not sure. Alright, still got stinky coffee breath. If anybody coffee? has any remedies, please send them my way because don't drink coffee. This has been going on for, but I like coffee. Coffee oh. is my life. Ew. How are you feeling post workout? Pretty dead. I look dead. <laughs> Fall fast. <laughs> <It's all breath. laughs> oh my god, it smells so bad. I hate the smell of your coffee breath. Well, Alright, I'm gonna go fix us some breakfast. Fix your mouth. And my mouth. <laughs> Babe, I'm just kidding. I love you, but this stank breath has to go. I agree. I agree. You want breakfast burrito or? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. All right, we're gonna have breakfast burritos. I'm gonna use the Beyond 
breakfast sausage. This is by far the best vegan breakfast sausage out there. Maybe even the best vegan meat I've ever had. I think it's my favorite one. I think I'll do some rotting mushrooms in there. These look so good, never mind. <laughs> rotting mushrooms? Some rotting mushrooms. It sounds pretty good. Oh no. Guess we're gonna have to go on a ride. Why? Don't have any aid. Oh, let's go. Alright, we're gonna go take the bike to the We store. love an excuse. Love well, an excuse for the bike. Alright, we'll be we'll be back. Alright, we're back. We went and picked up just egg. This egg substitute doesn't leave. I mean when I used to eat eggs, it would leave like a weird after effect in my stomach for a few hours. This is just super clean and light feeling perfect for breakfast. So we use this and this, and then I'm gonna put avocado, salsa, maybe a little onion, all in a tortilla, flour tortilla. All right, here's what's in the burrito, avocado, salsa, egg, a little vegan feta, and the breakfast sausage. I'm gonna roll it up. Perfect little burrito, let's go. Flying burrito. Oh, where is my eater? Flying burrito? Mmm, thank you. How is it? Mmm. Okay. So good. Reminds me of our college days. So good. I used to make these all the time in college. Moving team is here, aka Penny. Penny is the supervisor. <laughs> Drew Malone. All right, we already got it taken down quite a bit here. Where are you? Should we let's lean just lean this? this. Uh, let's do your slider. Yeah. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it right. Okay, let me know if you need me to do. Not much more to do. Um, and if there's not room for those in your. Oh my god. Wow. Got out of there. No casualties. We're gonna need a new chandelier. chandelier. So. Don't, but still don't make it crash on your head. No, we do not want to clean up glass for 74 years. Let's hang from it. Let's act like rock stars. Yeah, hell yeah. That's what I'm Machine saying. gun Kelly in the some flesh. Like, uh, some uh, jackass. Wait, you guys are going down the stairs for this one or over yeah. the side like still? They're going to need to go up that stair. Watch out, your wall, Drew. Oh, okay. This is so sketchy. What if you did what you okay. did? I think we go like this. So you start going down the stairs? You start going down. Watch the wall behind you, Drew. Oh, f yay. This is not chill, not chill, not chill. <gasps> Everyone is scared. Oh my god. There's so many elements to watch out for. The wall, the chandelier, the human body. Your life, your own life. OMG, 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 OMG. There you go, that's a smart technique. Put the hand on the top. Sensory. There's still a little bit of room. Yep. Oh, here we go. There it is. Okay, a little bit more. There we go. Oh my oh, goodness. Good job. Yeah. Wow, that was impressive. You guys are champs. Oh, and then you just hit the ceiling. <laughs> just kidding. You're not that good. Earth pizza for lunch. Y'all seen it in the oh, Annie vlog. Oh my now Blaney's gonna. Oh my god, camera on. Camera on. We're back from running errands, and I've got the new bed frame upstairs. Got my tennis player here with me. A little, little tennis cow. Your hat's a cow hat. I'm, I'm not calling you a cow. My tennis playing cow. You did just call me a cow. What? Because of your hat. Literally? She thinks I think she's a cow. No, I don't. Okay, but here we go. Here's the bed that I need to build now. Yeah, so this is our old bed frame. We used to have this one with our queen size bed, and we just we liked it a lot, so we're just like, let's just go for it. It's good, it works, we know it works. It's a good bed. For years. Comfy, it matches everything, no design issues. No design issues. You know, it kind of has like a mix of like a bunch of different wood, so just yeah. like you see how it has like all the different colors, yeah. so it works really well. It's a winner. We love winners. We love.
she blows. The new bed. Do it. Oh my god, it yells. What? They're gonna mess up the throat, you know? Why? It's just a vibe. I just made it so nice. I know, but that's not the vibe. Messed up throw vibe. I mean, love? I'm happy. Are you? Yeah, it looks good. I like it. Sweet. I don't know if I told you guys that my favorite thing in life is to, oh, camera just fell. Walkly into a soft surface, AKA 11. But my favorite thing is to eat and walk just like eating on the go. So even just like eating in the car or on the bike are just like my favorite things. I feel like I've talked about this on the vlog before, but I can't remember. Pretty sure they have a name for it in Spain. I think that's what my friend told me. But anywho, that's my favorite thing. And another thing is you probably already know how much I love toast. Another favorite thing. So we are gonna have toast on the bike right now. And I feel so happy about it. So sourdough toast is my fave. Putting some Miyoko's jam on this. And, I mean, Miyoko's butter. And then I'm gonna put some raspberry jam on top and it's gonna be just such a happy Friday thing. Are you almost ready, kid? When I was little, this is like all I ate for breakfast. My mom can vouch for me. All I ate when I was little was mac and cheese and toast. Here is the toast in all its glory. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All aboard. Oh my god, oh. Clayton. <laughs> are you good? <laughs> I'm good. Are you good? Clayton, are, are you stable? I'm stable. We just got to the I pickle courts. See, my hair has been looking so yellow. Yeah, you need to use the purple shampoo. Really yellow. Blue shampoo. I have some. You do? Yeah, maybe I'll need that. We're about to play some pickle. Pickle ball. We play pickle every single week. So this is our second time this week. It was only two days ago that we played last. All right, pickle ball is a mini tennis for it's for extreme beginners. Because we are not very good at tennis, so we need to go. 